Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome to my new series called Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Armor Skin. Let me double check that. Yes, Armor Skin is the name of our fortress. Um, you probably know that because uh, you clicked on the link, but I am just starting out. Um, so I've generated a map. Um, Thanks again to uh, Liquidated for uh, giving me a gin uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, mostly because, check this out. Boom! We've got a bona fide volcano on our map. Uh, I'm not going to play the whole game this zoomed out, but I uh, just wanted to kind of give a scope of the the uh, the map it's a pretty big map um, this is one of the biggest maps that I've ever played so hopefully it doesn't lag too much um, I'm gonna play maybe like this this right here ooh that's no good I'm not even showing the entire game let's let's uh, correct this Uh, the magic of editing. I don't even know. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's maybe zoom out one more time. Yeah, just like that. Uh, no. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so we're obviously going to start our fort near this volcano. Uh, so this level has the this is the first level of magma this uh, level 147 and it keeps going all the way down to it just keeps going down to negative negative nineteen then it starts trailing off um, I'm really excited to have magma I don't even care if there's uh, there's any coal or lignite hopefully there's steel for, uh, well I picked this because it was a volcano and it also had flux so um, those are rare to be able to get I didn't get a, a river this time but as you could see, uh, there's a bunch of little lakes here, um, so they shouldn't, um, they definitely shouldn't drown, like uh, die of thirst, especially since I plan on making plenty of booze for them. Um, but we're going to want to build. Let's let's dig down right here. Like right in, me, in the middle of those little lakes there. Uh, maybe... Let's see, is there a good size lake? Let's just do it right here. Because I know that I'm going to want to be relatively close to the... This level in particular, we're going to want to dig in. Because this is actually above the magma layer. Um, we're going to want to uh, dig in basically right here and start putting floors down and put our magma forges and whatnot. So probably we'll make our stairway like right parallel to here, like right here. So let's D for dig, J for downward stairway. Then we need an up down stairway for the rest of it. Down, 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 down. Let's say like 120. Go down that far. See what's down here. And so obviously this is going to be our first stairway, but most of our building is going to be off to the off to the right here since we've got a magma pipe right there. 
uh, you know, you sacrifice a little bit. So everything's going to probably move off to the right a little bit. But, you know, what are you going to do? We've got a freaking volcano. Dig out some trees right around and let's go. See what kind of stuff is on this map. Here come our guys. What do we got here? Silt and basalt. But it's not very much. Hematite! Sweet! That's exciting. How unite? I don't know what that is. Hold on. I'll unite. Doesn't say. I guess it's not an ore. Morion. Ooh, obsidian. It's. It's like an obsidian floor. That's gonna be nice. Oh man, we're gonna have such fancy, fancy stone crafts eventually. This is all slate. Alunite, I guess is a rock. It looks like a rock. Let's look it up. Alunite, oh goodness. My Alunite. Magma safe stone, okay. Well, we're going to have to put our we're going to have to put our our farms on this level. There's some water and stuff in the way, and we also have another uh, level over there. Um, but we'll have to make do. You make sacrifices, and this will make me, you know, um, improvise a little bit. So, we'll put our farms, well, let's put, we can put our food storage right here. And then this will be, oops, this will be our farms over here, because we'll want our food storage to be closer to the stairway. Then, let's see, Yes, this is going to be a little bit off, off the beaten path. Not off the beaten path. What? What am I talking about? It's going to be a like a little bit shifted over from where I normally make my. Uh, usually, I would line this straight up like a straight line, but we've got a little lake here, so we can't do that. Um, and I'm also not going to dig all the way out here because I feel like I might want to put another stairway over there later. So, Which I know you can build stairways, but I like to dig them out of the existing stone. No use uh, just going ahead and... Um, double, double, ooh, ooh, I missed it. Marble. Oh my gosh, I love marble. That's my favorite rock. Marble. Um, 
is the only metamorphic flux stone, and as such is very valuable when in a primarily metamorphic biome. It also frequently contains a wide variety of gems. See, this is the rarity. I've never seen, never ever seen marble next to a volcano. It's like this volcano just sprouted out of nowhere. It's not supposed to be here, but it is, and we're going to use it. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. So, well, yeah, we got marble. I knew there was fluxstone, but I didn't know it was marble, which marble is so awesome. So we got... He's chopping down trees. Um, all right. It's going to be a very active floor. Like I said, we're going to want to dig out. I'm not going to dig out there quite yet because this level up here, I'm going to eventually build a floor covering this entire thing. So, like flying invaders and stuff uh, in things like that can't get into my fort um, because this layer is going to be all floored as well except for spots where we can put um, magma forges and whatnot um, so this is our farming level this is going to be, it's also going to have water problems, so we're going to leave that level alone. This one can be our first warehouse floor. my other videos other than Dwarf Fortress you may know that I love adventure games and I have a lineup of games that I've been wanting to play for people um, not play for people play for recording um, that have been requested my brother asked that I play Riven which is one of my favorite games of all time so I definitely want to do that um, a couple of people on Reddit asked me to do some games that they like. Phantasmagoria 2, uh, Laura Bow 2, um, where'd you go? Oh, they're down here digging out this other thing I told them to do. Well, this room is complete at least, so we can just go ahead and put our food storage plot here. Um, as well as uh, the Lost Files of Sherlock Holmes, I think, is what uh, somebody else requested. And I want to do all those, but I've got Quest for Glory 1 stuck in my head. I really want to play the remake of Quest for uh, Glory. So I might do that next. I, uh, If you're like in the future and you don't know what where I recorded this. I just got done recording EcoQuest, which was 14 episodes, and it was um, struck more hem hematite. That's good. Let's see. This is pretty far down here. Where did I get that? So, 121 starts the marble. I, I want to... I might want to put the bedrooms on one of the more valuable floors. We have one, two, three, four, five, four floors that have obsidian and then way down here. Okay, I'm just doing a little pre-planning. Um, anyway, uh, just got done with EcoQuest, so that's where I'm at in the history of posting at this point. Um, but it looks like that's about all the time we have for this first episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Armor Skin. 
go ahead and like the video and subscribe. It really helps me out. Let's me know what types of things you like. Um, and uh, I, uh, people will like Dwarf Fortress stuff, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but until next time, I'm Paul Bo Brookins, and we will see you then.